Welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Baden, and in today's video, we're back in the XCOM. Um, I don't remember if I chose which mission I was gonna do this time. I think it was this one though, because it feels like it makes the most sense. Plus three days towards the operation, minus two unrest in this area. So I can bring this all the way down to being claimed without having to do uh, any of the any of this, which brings it down, reduces district unrest. So I can just bring it down by that too without doing anything. Um, but these two would go up by one. I don't think I need that much. Well, actually, I could use some more credits right now. But I also would need to find this out. Or I could wait until this mission goes critical. Or I could do this and then wait on doing that. I think I'm going to do that because this is going to go up by one each day. So one, how much does it have? One, two, three, four, five. So that's five pegs. But if I do this once... That's only going to go up three times if I just leave it. So it'll be halfway through. And then this one will go down to zero. But these two would be up to two. I think that's a better way to do it though. Because if this mission goes critical, it won't be at the point where um, it's full. And like going into our anarchy. Or about to go into our anarchy. So I'm going to do this one and then see what comes up next. And we do have, what's his name? Shrapnel, Godmother. Verge and terminal on the team this time I have to go back and look at the video because like I said it saves it at the end of missions not at the end of what you do and I can't save it because of the I think it's called Iron Man setting so I just had to check the video make sure I put everything back where it was I did not check and see if I made missions though I just looked at the very end for where I put everybody but we're gonna go ahead and send everyone in there's some more stuff that we can give make all stuff available there should be some body armor. I don't know what his or how to use him yet, which is another thing. Do I have any utilities or breach? No, I don't have any extra utilities or breach things. She has that on her gun. These two both have shotguns. Can I change his weapon? I, could, I feel like I could if I had extras. I think we could only change his or its, I guess, because of the um the fact that it's new. I do now need to get more trank rounds though, so let's see what other supplies we can get. Uh, we want to get the trank rounds. That's going to be all of our money if I buy that right now though. Flash spring, weave. We already have an extra one of those to give out. Is that other one here? Well done. The Progeny's psionic development program is no more. I already looked at this actually. So yeah. The uh the hidden or the black market thing isn't here right now. So I will give him trank rounds because those are just good to have. Get that extra intel on each mission. Uh send a PC. And I guess we'll give him the extra body armor because we really don't have anyone else to give it to, right? It it would go to one of these two because the weapons are closer range. They deal far more damage, they have a higher chance of critting when they're closer. I don't know if I want Godmother to have this though. Because that would force her to go in first. I think I'm going to give that to Shrapnel because it makes more sense. No, his name is Claymore, not Shrapnel. Shrapnel is the name of his ability. Which I should check real quick, actually. Um, Shrapnel on Claymore throws an explosive that detonates after several turns. The explosive does, does not deal damage through cover. And can be targeted to detonate early. Does not end the turn if used at first action. Okay. So he's going to get the breach weapon. Or the breach charge. I feel like Verge doesn't have anything. He also has the lowest health on the team right now. So I'm actually going to give him the padding. That way he doesn't take as much damage. So now it's 10, 11. That doesn't matter. And 11. Yeah, okay. So it's... Well, it says 11, 10, 10, 11 is our health overall. And I think that's everything that we can apply. She has the scope. He doesn't have anything because he doesn't use his weapon as much. She gets close to range, so she has the impact frame. He has trank rounds in the breach charge because it feels like it makes sense for a dude named Claymore to carry the explosives. So, let's get into this. The 3-1 PD spotted a progeny lieutenant in this apartment complex. Do what you can to capture. Hopefully this is coming through louder too. I also turned up, I changed my um, mixer and recorder. So that should bring the sound up also. And then I turned up the, um, 
the um dialogue volume. Should we send him in first? He doesn't have any breach abilities. We should send these two in first because the closest two enemies are going to be the best for them to shoot. I guess I could just remember that breach fire. Oh, she has refresh. Oh, okay. I can click on these to see what they can do at the breach. Interesting. Entering. All right, let's see what we got in here. Okay, so we have an alert, an alert acolyte, an alert resonant, and an aggressive thrall. Four to six. So if I hit here, he's definitely gonna die because my tr crit chance is 115 percent. Okay. And that's these are both alert, so they'll get I believe a skill type thing. Uh, we're gonna go for the acolyte, the closest thing, and then if we hit all of our shots on him, he should die. Okay, cool. So it's this room clear, but not this encounter necessarily. There's our VIP. Subdue if you can. What we'll to prevent him from getting there? We could potentially hold up in this room and move everyone around to uh how many encounters this is only one encounter okay so we could set it up as a trap almost and i'm trying to get this to land in the spot this is the only weird thing about xcom is you have to find the exact right spot because this isn't the same square but it's not giving me the same area as this but that's why i want that to go Watch your ankles. did he throw that through the door is what it looked like it did i'm gonna set up in this room because he's trying to escape through this exit right here and i believe they're gonna be trying to move on us so i'm gonna have him whose turn is next number two Oops. I'm gonna have him overwatch in an area something like this should be cool because if he comes through I'm gonna point with my hand again. If he comes through this door, he's gonna walk into that range for sure, because there's no reason to stand right there. If he comes through this door to get into cover, he might move in front of him to that range. So I set it up like that. Can he do anything from there? Oh, okay, Enough I guess he could. Jackass. You are still up. Good. All right, now we're on Godmother. She doesn't have any special abilities quite yet. I don't want to put her right there because I don't know when that's gonna blow up yet. It's still my first time using it. it. Says it doesn't do damage through cover, but it still might destroy her cover though. So that's something I do need to watch out for. What is this? Okay, so yeah, it will destroy her cover, but I don't know when. So I'm going to let that timer run down just so I can find out um, how long that's actually going to be. For some reason, I have a better chance on this dude through the wall. What is this saying? Return to movement. Escape? No, I don't want to do that. That's the escape button, though. So that's his thing set up right there. This doll has an angle. Oh, it's going to go off on the next turn. I probably shouldn't have put her right here then. So then I'm going to go for the number two just in case I can. Interesting. Target yeah, down. but take them out of the turn order because that's going to blow up and break her cover. Okay, cool. It missed anyways. So it only blo it blows up after one turn. So I want to put that right where I want it, basically. We can get Verge. We can get Verge in right here. And then, Battle Madness to Thrall, it's 100% chance to hit. Did I hit Stupor on accident? I did. And that's the end of his turn. I meant to do Battle Madness. I had a feeling I was hitting the wrong button, but... Oh well, at this point, I guess. Alright. You can fire your weapon on him. But he had a, a 2... It's still interesting that I'm shooting through this wall, no problem. And how they're seeing through this wall, too. Um, do I want to function under the idea that he won't have a turn? Does this say? This doesn't give me any tips. All right.
Target subdued. That's a lot of criticals. I mean, the last episode I named after all the criticals. I think I named it slightly wrong, or at least grammatically wrong. Um, I mean, if we move you right here, this should be just almost a field execution at that point. Yeah, 100% chance, crit chance 55. Yeah, that's it. That one's kind of brutal, actually. What's this? Oh, I missed it. So she's lightly wounded. Six captured, earn an extra 20 intel. I still don't know what the, the lowest amount you can get in captured enemies to get that 20 intel, because it doesn't let you go over 20. Assembly complete, enhanced armor. Unrest is down to zero. That's the place where the, the hidden mission is. reached out to nearby resistance networks to help keep the peace. The insurgents belonged to a cell in the Shrike network. That network provided security before 3-1-PD existed. They left when the Global Council cleared aliens and hybrids for return to society. Hmm, couldn't stomach protecting the people they fought in the war? Seems that way. Since 2037, they've kept to the outskirts and swapped war stories at their watering holes. Sounds like a dead end. Maybe. Something drove them to carry out this attack. Keep your eyes open. You want to hear me pop my knuckles? Those are the first knuckles, not even the main ones. Oh, yeah. Knuckle pops. All right. Dozens of hybrids have recently disappeared. Oh, okay. I'm going to say the prototype sonic augmentation devices. I don't think there's anything new here. That was just more background information on them. Basically, so oh, a lot of upgrades this time. Upgrades, promotions. Identified psionic radicals as the perpetrators of last night's attack at Highland Square. Commissioner Maloof proposed the idea of a registry for psionic residents. The registry would have a deterrent effect on an invisible crime. All must be held accountable. But some residents argue this proposal is an invasion of privacy and an attack on civil liberties. I wear my dampener without complaint. Why should I be punished for another's poor choices? More as the story develops. This is Celio Dash with Channel 37. I mean, that makes sense. You're trying to... It's... You're trying to register them just so you can know that they're different, which is basically marking them as targets overall. Field team payday earned... Three, what's that, intel? Hang on, let's see. Damn, I was hoping they'd bring it up more. Enhanced armor is finished. New supply upgrade, enhanced armor, except. They can get mastercrafted armor, field team priority. Field teams can be upgraded to rank two. Do I want this right now, though? It is priority. Don't want to leave Cherub in here right now, is another question. I feel like he's rested enough. Verge is probably the one who should come out at this point because his psionic abilities are not as good against these people who are also scions. So we'll take him out and then have him do the field team upgrade. She's still on her mission, her um operation, so she's not coming out. Um, so Cherub's going to go back in then. Easy put. Let's see what promotions we got. All right. Pro to rank deputy agent. Godmother of the fires her shell again during the breach and will take their turn earlier on the timeline. Godmother also gains one bonus action on their first turn when use permission. Alright. Alpha strike. So she fires and get she fires, move ups, moves up in the turn order, and also gets a bonus action on her first turn. That's pretty cool. That sounds like run and gun. Uh how they described it at least. I did not finish up by promoting everyone. Alright. So, she gets sustained. A terminal takes enough damage to begin bleeding out. They are instead reduced to 1 HP and immediately into stasis for one turn. One use permission. Pin down. Terminal shoots non-damaging suppressive fire at a target to push the turn down the turn, turn timeline to turn cooldown. So I could save her from dying. 
But at that point, I feel like she's going to get a scar either way. Because I know when they go down, they get a scar. But if she's that damaged, she would probably get one anyways. But it would keep her from dying. So we could keep her in the fight a little longer when she comes back to, back uh, out of this stasis. Which basically is like a pod that it puts in. I don't know if she can die in stasis either. That's another thing that would have to be looked into. <laughs> but... um. The pin down could be useful too because a lot of times i'm stuck with two options of basically like one person's going to get damaged if i don't get this other person out of the turn order so i feel like this one's going to be a better use tactically for the whole team and the other one's more personal use so i'm going to take that one instead and i think it's verge who has an upgrade now verge gains plus five aim and plus five critical chance for each enemy in his neural network or call it Enemies in the near necker that would be killed are rendered unconscious instead. That's useful because that would pair well with uh, Zypher, for example, who can't who can't keep people alive. But I think this one's going to be better. Verge gains plus aim and plus critical chance because he has trank rounds. So anyone he shoots, and most people have trank rounds on my team. So this one isn't actually that great overall because of that. I put the money into getting for a trank round so at any point if there's someone on the team we're still if we kill them they're still getting them uh unconscious instead so that was kind of an easy choice plus that increases the aim and critical chance so by doing that he's, in, he's essentially increasing the likelihood that he'll make someone unconscious because of those trank rounds um did i tense his armor i didn't i didn't retense it so he was out there not matching the rest of the team. Make sure everyone else is tinted up too. All right, so now let's see what we got going on. I have this one started, and it's the priority thing. I don't have anything else to do, so now let's look at the city map. She's going to bring in intel, right? That's what she's bringing in just before I make this choice. Yeah, so, you, so we have these two things. This one brings intel, and this one brings credits i'm gonna take the credits because i know i have 80 intel coming in either way local thieves keep robbing automated trucks transporting rare and valuable alloys a local manufacturer offers a reward for each recovered crate uh can we build another field team too that's a finance oh i didn't rebuild those field teams i had i'll have to look at that again actually hang on one second i gotta figure out which ones i had okay so this one was a security field team do I have enough for it right now? I don't think I do. No, I do. So this one was a security field team. Confirm. Oh, it just looked like it was grayed out, that's why. And then I had this one as a technology field team. So let's rebuild those. Damn, I should have had those already. I that's why I was confused when I was looking at the, um, right before I started the last mission, it said I had gotten paid for my field teams, but it only said I got the little bit of, uh, credits and i was like i should get more than that because i knew i had built these field teams i just forgot to rebuild them because again it saves after the missions not what you do between them um with that with that i kind of want to get more intel now but i think this is still going to benefit us more because we can get more equipment for our team and i think are we sending them the same oh never mind uh unrest in renova heights has risen to two Okay, so she has one more day left. He has one more day left. Debated the proposed psionic registry behind closed doors today. Hundreds of protesters congregated outside of City Hall. Just because they're different doesn't mean they should be treated like criminals. 3-1 PD insists the registry is in the best interest of city residents. Public safety is our top priority. If you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to worry about. Celio Dash reporting for Channel 37. I mean... That's a true statement, but you're also punishing a whole group or a whole community for the actions of a few. As you know, our presence in City 31 is precarious. The City Council is divided on Reclamation's future. So we do the job we came here to do. Secure dangerous technology from those who seek to harm City 31. As Reclamation confirms intel on these bread and butter missions, we'll place them on the map. They can't argue with our mandate. Protecting the citizens of this city will help them understand our commitment. Sorry, we made a bunch of noise. I was trying to get my water bottle closer. 
Oh, that gives us a free field team. So that's probably what we're going to do at this point. And then what is this one? This one gives us a scope. That's not going to help us out that much. Hustle captures a sci scientist working in one of th City 31's vertical farms. XCOM HQ is listed as a priority recovery. And I want to do this one too because it already has this two unrest right here. How long is this one at its cooldown? This has a cooldown of four days. And I can use this to bring down something that's already kind of high because that's also something I should be looking into doing. I should probably bring them down whenever I can. Reduce this target district and rest by two. If the district has a field team, plus one per rank. So this could bring it down by three. So I should let that sit. So it's one of these two. Um, I don't want to do this one because I know it's going to come down by two and end the next day when that mission's available. So I'm going to do this one. Requires four field teams total. Scoot my chair back up. The annoying part about this chair is that it's creaky. So when I try to record, it usually picks up anyways. All right, so this lucky, one. We can reach an what time is VIP it? Before hostile forces arrive. Our goal is to extract the VIP before hostiles can overwhelm the position. Get to the evac and get out. Okay. So number, numbers game in Old Town. Easy. Projected breach point vehicle, projected encounters one. So this should be a quick mission as long as we get everything done right. Make items available, except breach items, uh, trank round. Anything else? Body armor? No? Oh, extra padding for sure on Cherub. I like to beat up Cherub. Um, is there anything else I can afford now? Plus two HP, plus one utility. But it costs 200. I mean, after this mission, I think we should have enough. That disables all firearms in a large radius. Maybe it's time to start using some grenades. Especially with uh, Claymore on the team. I don't know why I keep assuming that Claymore gives some type of bonus to using these grenades. Uh, but I'm going to keep doing that because it makes sense. Espe essentially, the... Um, Ordinance expert. I don't want to say explosives because not all of these are explosives technically. But we'll pick up a ceasefire grenade. It sounds like it's going to be useful for this mission. So, is that going to take the spot of? It would take the spot of this utility item. Um, I don't have to give that to him. Does anyone have two utility spots yet? I don't think so. That doesn't matter for you. Okay, then it's is gonna go to him. He's gonna get a ceasefire. At some point, we will be able to carry two utilities, so that'll make that a little better, easier to work with, and all that. Maybe the best person to give that to would be Zypher because she gets behind lines and can throw that at a different angle than everyone else will be able to. She also doesn't carry the trank rounds, so that's why I would always be open. I don't have to compromise for anything there. We beat the hostiles to our VIP. Prep to evac. All right, let's see what we have here. All units through this entrance get plus 50 dodge for one round. So we're sending chair up first, and we might use Phalanx right now because he's going to pull in all that damage and charge his shield up, as well as it only being one encounter. So anything that's going to be once per mission doesn't matter at this point. Because Reaching once permission is all we really have. Alright, how many enemies do you have? You're aggressive and we have a very low chance of hitting you. So I'm going to phalanx right now. Fires a shot at target. Fire a shot at a target? Oh wait, no. Forces aggressive enemies to target share, blocking all damage and getting one charge per attack. We only have one aggressive enemy, but he has a lot of health. So I'm going to use this. 78, 73. The rest of these are just alert. Let's see if I can take him out. Though. It would race, essentially waste that thing, but since there's only one uh, breach anyways, it doesn't actually matter. Because it's going to be wasted a little bit either way. Hunker down, hunker down, hunker down. VIP yeah, spotted. Deliver that package. 
what do we have to take them to? Because I, I feel like it's going to be, yeah, across the whole map, which doesn't make sense. All right. Cheb is first. And the VIP is second. I can use the VIP to get her, his, itself out. Can I move that? Come on. Data analysis and the analyzer. So I can get them out on the, hang on, I got to sneeze. Okay, never mind. Okay, who's first up? Number three is way over there. And they all have defense up right now. So I should take this time to give someone a kinetic shield. Um, I feel like he has the best cover from number three i feel like godmother has the worst so i'm gonna give it to godmother because i don't even think she has cover from them i think it's only this car door if anything and then i'm gonna put him hang on what's the button wrong one so they would have to shoot past that they might have a better angle on him from here but if i go there or there they're both gonna be fine i think i'm gonna right here anyways i feel like this is gonna be pretty cool and do I want them to come out right now? I can move them out and then have them hunker down. Why is this not covered? Because of him. I might be able to take out, take them out on the next turn, but I'm gonna move them here. And then have them hunker down. Uh, defense by 30 and dodge by 50. That's not the move I expected them to make at all. I don't know what they can do from here at this point. Oh, it's going to be Cherub, of course. Okay, is this a Sonic, what, uh, body slam or whatever? Uh, I, I can only really hope that that doesn't happen to Cherub. Can I subdue them? No, not you. You. I want to subdue you from here and just get you all the way out of the turn order. Stay down. Okay. And I'll move Godmother to here. And take hopefully I can take them out before they can um drop Cherub fire weapon. The chance to kill should be pretty high. Yeah, I was gonna say, because we're so close, and that puts him back down, so he's cool. He's moving up, probably gonna shoot Cherub or Terminal. Or the VIP, I guess. Surprised they got that shot off. Um, I could drop this right on them. And I can do it, I should be able to do it in a way that hits none of my team. And I still have an action available. So I can shoot that right now. And let that deal its damage. Let's see, when does that explode? That explodes before they get their next turn. So I might as well shoot at them. But I won't be able to move. Ch Ooh, almost messed that up. So I can shoot at them. And of course I missed. My target. Alright, Cherub cannot move from that spot. Unless I put a kinetic shield on him. So I'm gonna do that actually. Kinetic shield. Shields up. Does this take an action? Cause I do wanna I want Terminal to use her turn sooner to heal the um what you call it. And he has a shield on him now. I could go ahead and shield bash them too, but I don't want to move into range of that explosive actually, because it's going to come up pretty soon. So I'm gonna move him over to here. We also have more Shifting enemies position. coming in. That's why I put the shield on him so he can't take that damage. His shield's gonna break now, but his charge is gonna go up. And now terminal is gonna use safeguard on them. Help? And I'm going to have her. She could overwatch that door, that entrance right there. And that also grabs them inside of it. 
too. So they can't move. And if anyone comes to that door, they're getting shot, possibly. There's that damage. Their armor got shredded. I'm going to dash them up to here. Because now with terminal thing covering them, this should be fine. They have extra defense. They have a little bit of extra defense. They have cover from both entrances and that one, too. Alright, so now it's Godmother's turn. Can I subdue them? There's a chance. Oh, no, it's going to kill either way. Because that um that frame we put on her. So we're going to go ahead and take them out. And then we can move. Arrested the target. Damn, we got extra damage on the too. Why? Why did that car blow up? Because his shot missed. Good job. Alright, so now... I don't want to make this move. I feel like we might be better moving him here. Terminal's still overwatching in that direction. So we put him here. We can overwatch him up to there. And we don't have anyone covering that entrance. So that could be a downside if they all come through there. But even then, I think we have a decent amount of cover from that direction. Except for maybe Terminal. And of course you missed. I was early. That Maybe he's me. yeah he was early. They didn't even Looks come up like the, the wall yet. Okay. Clear. Go. They they must have moved over to terminal, which gave her the the ability to clear them. Kinetic shield on. I feel like I should give it to them, but who's number three looking at? Which one is number three? Let me back out. That's number three, so I should give a kinetic shield to terminal. Not terminal. Cherub. Which one is he? Give it to yourself. And then actually, I'm going to send him up to Shield Bash because I know it's going to do a little extra damage. And it should draw his um fire. So you see this blue range behind him now? That means that um when he does this Shield Bash, it's going to push out and like fan out in that direction. So here, you'll see it now. This is the first time he's done it while charged. So that little wave will also do uh, damage. And hopefully putting him right here is going to draw his attention to Terminal. Or not Terminal, to Cherub. Damn, I keep getting them mixed up. To Cherub and allow him to... Uh... To to absorb that damage. And then probably put it right back onto the uh, Resonant. Or at least hopefully do so. And then... We could... Pin down not you but them because again we're hoping that cherub uh we're hoping that cherub can draw that fire it doesn't look like he did though interesting don't know what that did we can dash them to the exit and get them out of here that is the point of our mission so we can get that done and evac evac all right cool so good that we didn't give them the shield otherwise it would have been a waste and now we can put we put godmother right here now they're fourth he's sixth so i can put godmother right about i can put her here too but that gives her no cover from them and if i fire the weapon i have an 89 percent chance to hit i have a decent chance to kill because i do four to six so that means five or six could kill in this case. Let's go for it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Drop the hostile. Alright, so they're out of the turn order. Next up is Shrapnel. Can I get this all the way over there? Can I get it all the way over there? Yes, I can. And I don't think this is going to hit Terminal either. Not Terminal. God damn it. Cherub. It's not going to hit Cherub either. Can I shoot it from here is the question now. Yeah, it's not going to hit Cherub. Hopefully it blows that car up and takes out the resident. Yep. All right. So now, at the end of this turn, they're going to come through. Cherub is pretty close. If I put Cherub here, I can overwatch that entrance. And then on his next turn, he should be close enough to evac. So overwatch right about there um who's next terminal can get in right here gotta get moving and she can Pick overwatch she's gonna overwatch this entrance got you covered 
Hopefully Godmother can no, get up no, no. to, yeah, right here. She doesn't have ammo. She, she has low ammo. All right, that's fine. I think I'm going to put her here. The furthest one back is Claymore right now. I think I've been calling him Shatno still. Uh, but it's Claymore right now. Um, but Claymore has an angle on that entrance. So when he takes his turn, that should be fine. Do I want both of them to overwatch this entrance? I don't actually because I want to save term or not Terminal. Godmother's shot. In case they come through and Terminal doesn't kill, I don't want to have to then reload with her. So I'm going to put her in preparation. Or I can reload now. Yeah, I'm just going to reload now actually. Reloading. Just in case. And then you can put... Was anyone by that? And he needs to reload for sure now. He's completely out of ammo. What is this? Throw a ceasefire grenade. I forgot he had that. Um, although I don't think it really mattered at that point. I could make him reload and stay where he is. Hang on. I have a bubble of stat at the top of my nose. I probably, I'm probably going to miss that. I don't edit these videos too intensely because the loading screens aren't long. And really the only pr reason I'd have to cut anything out is because I did something. Uh, wait a second. This action does not end the turn. Okay. I reloaded. So now he's reloading, and I'm going to put him to Overwatch on this entrance. So now we have Watching all the entrances zone. covered. Good support. Please don't miss. All right, cool. And they are coming up. Is someone Overwatching that entrance? No, I didn't even see that entrance actually. Had I seen it, I would have put Terminal aimed on that one and Godmother aimed right there. But that doesn't really matter. Let's see if you can give out a kinetic shield to him because he's so far away. Um, and maybe you can take the shot on number three too. Might as well, right? Because um, even if you, I mean, if you hit, you take him out. Okay, cool. gone. So now Terminal's Good up. Hit. I have a 100% chance to hit. Pretty decent chance to crit. Okay, cool. All right, Godmother can move to the exit. Still in cover though. And then we'll put a preparation on her. I'm gonna dash you all the way over because you're so far away. Your mobility is so low too. I didn't even realize that until just now. But I think we might be able to evac this turn. I don't want to jinx that though. So I'm still going to prepare as if I can't. Because he can't reach there. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. Overwatch this entrance. Can I get both? No, I can't. Kind of? Yeah, kind of can. I'm going to put it like that. Keeping a lookout. Just in case. They come and try and move up. Okay. That's Godmother's turn. He, I know, is still too far away because of how low his um stuff is. So we're going to overwatch her right here. If Terminal can make this run, she can. I'm going to overwatch down on this one. And then I'm just going to move him all the way up. Yeah, see, I knew he couldn't quite make it. So we'll put him around the corner right here. Heading over there. So on my next turn, I sh on my their next turns, I should be able to move everyone out. Did you miss? I couldn't even see it. Hit. Well, I mean, the only person responsible for that miss is you, Cherub, so... You should have hit is not helpful there. So, if I can take out number three... The shot will end my turn, though. So that doesn't even help right now. I could take a motion to leave. Number three has an angle on Claymore. Claymore has a shield though, so does Godmother. So the only one who's not defended is her. Can I give her a kinetic shield? If I move here, can I give her a kinetic shield? Okay, I'm moving. Uh kinetic shield on terminal. Popping and blocking. Okay, so now everyone is shielded. Um if I leave with him, I think all of their shields break though. So I actually don't want to leave with him just yet. And I can't do anything else with him besides leave. So, camera rotate, in turn. In turn? Okay, cool. So now it's Godmother's turn.
we still have that number two right there. If we move to here, we should still be able to we should still be able to make it to the exit and put an Overwatch over on them. On Overwatch. Nice coverage. And we're back on his turn. I still don't want him to leave yet. Why does it keep going back to him? Oh, because he's standing on it, so it's gonna go back to him every time. Take it out. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what we need. I guess I need to upgrade Keep pistols up. because chair wasn't doing that great. No, still not trying to take chair out just yet. It's at this point that I wouldn't mind taking someone out. I can take terminal out, and uh, it'll be fine because she's not gonna make everyone else lose their shields. Um, no, I still don't want you doing anything. That's a little annoying. Maybe next time I'll put him on the slot, on the slot next to it. This is Cherub's turn still. Better tomorrow. Hopefully they miss with whatever they do. Psionic suplex, of course. So now I have to take them out or something to prevent that from dealing any damage. Hopefully this will be enough to take them down. I don't think it will be though. I don't know how much damage it does. Fire weapon, 66% there. That's at their feet though. So it's, if it's any type of decent explosive, ah, okay. At this point, should I evac chair now? There's nothing I can do about Godmother. She's kind of caught right there. Um, no, I don't want to evac Cherub. Because I could potentially take this shot. Yeah, and kill. Target and down. save Godmother the don't damage. Good thing I did not evac him. So now I can evac Cherub. And now we'll know. Okay, so it doesn't take everyone's shield away. So that's fine. Evac Godmother. And then evac. Running out of ammunition. Yeah, it's fine, dog. Moving. We're finna leave out anyways. Check your fire. That was a fun mission. It actually took some uh, took some decent thought there. We did pretty good too. It took light damage on terminal. The the VIP got messed up. I'm not gonna lie though. But there's nothing I can do about that. They didn't take the bait like I thought they would. So. Simply complete improved field teams and she fi finished lug work. No one in the right mind should spend time in Old Town. The city council says they cleared out all the old mechs at mechs advent used to send on liquidation patrols, but give give the whole district a pass into the higher mercenaries to hunt mechs door to door. Instead of Bugtown, a local guide to City 31. But yeah, I put Bait right in front of him. Funny that Bait was Cherub after I was talking about taking Cherub out because of all the damage he was taking, but... The progeny are kidnapping hybrids and turning them into psionic thralls. The process is irreversible. Stop the abductions so we can ensure the city's hybrids return to their lives. Interesting. So now we're trying to keep them from taking hybrids to turn them into essentially their slaves. Ah, Claymore has a promotion now. As the city council debates a psionic registry, some residents feel they are out of touch. Recent disappearances of hybrid citizens have left their families in disarray. She wouldn't have just left like this. Someone took her. They must have. Commissioner Maloof issued an official response. 3-1 PD is actively looking into these missing persons. This matter is our top priority. Channel 37, Celio Dash reporting. Hmm. It's interesting that they're focused on registering scions instead of looking into the disappearance of all these people. All right. Hang on. Claymore detonates a powerful charge, rupturing all enemies near the breach point. Usable on wall breach points, one use permission. I don't know what rupturing means, but I mean, that sounds pretty cool to me. So that's a good upgrade. Yeah, his mobility is nine. Let's, what's everyone else's? 12. 10, 10, 10, 14. Of course, hers is the highest. But yeah, so that's why his feels so low at this point. Or feels so low because it is the lowest 
Uh, let's see here. I don't think I should be doing anything else because I'm going to have to redo it later. So I might as well save it. I can't think about what mission I'm going to do next though. Which at this point, I can do this one, which is locate missing informant. Uh, one of three ones. If I send APC, is that a mission? The following HQ activities are currently unaddressed. One or more agents is idle. The scavenger market is open and has not been visited. Okay, so I think this will just move to the next day. Uh, one of three one PD's informants has gone missing. Providing them with access to our most sophisticated tracking equipment could help narrow the search. Okay, this is close to going critical. I think. Um, let's see here. Field teams can be put into rank two. Anything else in here? I can do expert field teams. I don't have the money. Well, I don't have the money to get to a level three field team, so that doesn't really matter. Um, I think we always end up with someone with shotguns on the team, so maybe that's something that I should uh, upgrade. Flash bomb, smoke bomb, cease fire bomb, uh, medi patch, hollow scanner. It might be good to get the hollow scanners actually. A few teams can be upgraded to level three. I don't know. I think I want to do weapons though. Laser sight scope. That would help out because we had some pretty bad Overwatch shots in that last mission. Uh, we also have a lot of shotguns. We don't have a lot of pistols, so I don't think there's a reason to do that. So maybe I'll do shotguns because if I feel like at this point we're probably gonna have someone with a shotgun on our team the whole time, uh, with two people with shot. Actually, what are everyone's weapons? You use. I know you use a shotgun. Your shotgun, your sub, your pistol. I don't know yours. Is it an assault rifle? It is. Can I switch that? I can't. And you have the gauntlets. And then you also have a shotgun. So yeah, I think shotguns is what I'm gonna go for next. In the um uh, in this thing. I don't know if I'm gonna put Rage back in because his abilities are not as useful against other psionics since they have that um level of resistance against them. Even the thralls, which are at this point, we know now are just people that are kidnapped and changed. Zephyr has gotten this intel. Uh, Lyrium string, there's more intel, it's more credits. Let's see where we stand with the uh, black market though. Targeting system, shooting at a target with this upgrade applies hollow targeting. Uh, shots apply hollow targeting to the target, which grants allies a 15% aim bonus against that target. Okay, there we go. I gotta remember to look for those. You'll know if I found them, if they're in there or not. Missed shots would deal 2 damage to the target. An advanced stock does sound pretty good right now, but I could also do more field teams. Um, maybe I'll do this one. Advanced stock. Shot does not automatically end the turn. Or the reflex grip. A lot of times I would want this, but this, is gonna, this costs so much intel that I don't really have right now. So I'm going to get this one. Do I want to get the target system also? If I got this, I'd have 65, which isn't enough to, um, which I know for sure isn't enough to give any um, intel. So at this point, let's look at our people too. Let's see if anyone else needs to be upgraded. I'm trying to keep them about even just in case um, I lose somebody, for example. I don't want there to be then like people who've been promoted three times and then this single promoted person trying to hang with them in these higher level missions uh let's see let's see where am i trying to look armory i kept skipping over it so you have one promotion you have agents abilities one promotion you have two you have one you have two you have two so we should stay in is uh claymore almost said shrapnel again and godmother and then everyone else oh and cherub so one person can swap out of the team if i want to i like putting uh zypher in because of her disruption abilities which i feel like would be useful against these scions um in case for some reason they do have to focus cherub stays in so these three stay in because they're the only promoted once so terminal gets a rest this time and we can put her in is there any training she can do extra health uh i never did give zypher that extra health actually i decided against it but i think terminal could use it as our field medic 
and then we can build another field team. So I have one tech, I have one tech, one security, and one uh, finance. Right now, our lowest thing is Illyrium, so I could make another technology district. And I'll put it, I like to put them on ones that have uh, unrest already going up. I don't know why, it just feels like it. The French sounds like the perfect place for technology, honestly. I forgot I had the free field upgrade. Our feet, the free uh, field team. And I can get a free upgrade too because of that. But. I don't think upgrading any of these makes sense quite yet because of the um because i'm not pulling down the unrest that far that would that would be the only reason to do it is to level something up to level two and then pull down the unrest because then it would it could come down by five so what, I, what would be the perfect thing to do with this is to save it to the next time do this mission and then pull it the rest of the way down but i think once we do that mission it goes down by two anyways okay so then i'm gonna put uh Illyrium's low, so a technology district. District field team on this. And then I do want to build another one. So I have two technology, one finance, and one security. Uh, I guess I'll put a security team here. No. Yes? Gives 35 Illyrium on district missions. Um, plus 5 Illyrium income. Plus 5 intel income. 60. So these ones will cost 60. I don't want to do another technology yet then. 65 credit bonus or 40 intel bonus. Um, our credits are pretty high, but we're getting into some higher level stuff. I want to start getting that um, advanced armor soon. And I can't afford that thing now still. Oh, I already bought it. Oh, no, I didn't. Hollow targeter. All right. I just realized I'm going to have to do all this again. Oh, wait. No, I don't because... I think this this is a situation so I can move to the next day then it's automatically going to save everything I just did so is everyone set how I want them to be she's getting more health I don't have anyone doing spec ops I'm gonna call them that field something and then the shotguns are getting upgraded so we looked into that new supplies available I think it's the enhanced uh, armor upgrade which is the new supply I just think we didn't check that last time and that's the city unrest that we we're just talking about so everything that we've looked at everything now i think at this point the missions are going to go critical uh unrest in renova heights is now risen to four continue and that mission Green isn't quite critical arrested yet. two humans and a sectoid for removing their dampeners at the promenade the arresting officer downplayed the psionic disturbance this was a political demonstration that got out of hand. Nothing more. A protester on the scene disagreed. The dampeners are painful. We should be able to live as naturally as anyone else. Celio Dash reporting for Channel 37. That makes sense, though. It'd be like, I don't know, if... I use Trump, for example, even though he's not president anymore. If he tried to put trackers on all Muslim people coming in, because he was big on trying to stop them from coming in, even though a small majority of them are, like a very small majority of them are considered terrorists, even though they don't do much against America until America it tries to intervene with their things. Um, but if you tried to track all of them, a lot of people would be against that, whether they were Muslim or not, because that's just wrong. And that's essentially what they're trying to do here is they're blaming all the Scions, even though there's only a small group of Scions who are doing anything. I think on the next mission that we'll do this one because it pulls down the unrest. We get a targeting system, which is a weapon mod, so that's all that's all all around useful. Uh, words of an abandoned tech cache wasn't just rumors. Unknown hostiles are already on the scene. Prepare yourselves for a firefight. Sounds like it's going to be a lot of shooting in that mission. This one is just a prison break. Um, just a prison break sounds kind of bad, but it shouldn't be that too difficult overall. So Riverside's going to go up to two, but this one's going to come down to zero. And then we'll only have two things with unrest. So I think we're managing our unrest pretty well so far. I probably made a few mistakes in there somewhere. But at this point, we should be cool. And trainer idol. Is she not in there? Hello? Unassign this agent will cancel the project. You will lose all progress. Okay. Alright, so terminal's in there. 
training. That still has two days, and then they're just sitting and waiting. I could go ahead and put their stuff on and then go ahead and end the episode. But then the next episode, we'll start off with this, and I believe we'll go straight into this story mission lockdown facility. So we'll do Lost and Found and then Lockdown Facility because at that point, that should be critical since the unrest would be full. Thought it wasn't going to go up that high, but I think we, I thought it was going to go critical earlier than it was. Um, but I'm going to wait for it to be critical, which is going to be on the next turn. So I might as well just, no, because it would have been critical for two days so to start going into our anarchy. So I did make the right move by doing that mission that brought us three times closer, or three days closer. Uh, let's see. Well, uh, I mean, we have to go to send the APC. So we'll set all that up in the next episode because it's going to take it all the way anyways. So thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to follow all of my other social medias in the description below. I made a TikTok to use, but I only posted one video because every time I try and post a video, the Xbox app doesn't want to work. So I can't pull my little clips from mostly Brahalla to put them on there. But thanks for watching uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe all that stuff helps me grow the channel uh and i'll see you next time bye